What's going on guys? So today we are going to be working on the truck and here it is in question. If you saw my last video I kind of went over it. I don't know if you can kind of see it. There's scuff marks there. A scuff and a pretty good scratch right here with a dent as well. Got another scuff mark right here. About yay big if you can't really see it. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera. Then right about here you can see two scratches stops there starts there this one is just continuous all the way down up until about here and then a couple of scuff marks a couple of scuff marks so today we are going to be working on this trying to get rid of it so this is what I bought formula one high performance scratch out uh, basically this was the cheapest one on the shelf I didn't want to buy the new finish by uh, well new finish scratch out whatever and then the other one was mother's I figure I'll give this one a chance, see what it does. If not, I'll go and get the other stuff. But I just want to try and get these guys. The scuffs will be easy, but these deeper scratches will be a little bit more difficult. And this dent, eh, the dent's fine, whatever. Alright, so first thing we're going to do, spray it down, kind of clean it off, make sure there's no contaminants. Wipe it down. I am just using soapy water. Clean it off. Nothing too special. Now you can just wash the whole truck if you really want, which I should probably do after this, but I want to get the scratches fixed. I'm just doing it on this side because directions say you want to apply this stuff not in direct sunlight, not when it's hot. So I'm trying to keep out of the sunlight here. I don't know if you can see these guys, but let's start down here, see what it does. I am going to use an applicator on a orbital little thing here. I probably put way too much, but that's okay. So, put it all over it and go to town. Now. All right, so we just did that. Let's wipe it clean now with the dry rag. Well, the dry side of the rag that I used. Alright, it seemed to help a little bit. But it's still kind of there. So let's do another application. And see what we can do here. Because I really kind of want to get rid of these. Because I know I use my truck for work. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, it's a truck. Let it get scratches and dents. I get that. But, my theory, i rather the scratches and dents stay in the bed. Not on the outside, because I use this truck to meet with clients, go out. So I still want it to look nice. I don't want someone coming up to him be like, wow, he doesn't care about his things. He must have a lot of money. Here's the thing. Yeah, you can always buy another truck. You can pay someone to fix it. But why would you want to when you can just keep it looking nice forever? That's my theory. Wipe it down. Okay, so it seems to be doing a little bit of a good job, but let's see what it does in this spot here. Okay. Let's see what that does. Try not drop that. Okay, so it, it helped it. Whoops, almost sank to the camera. It helped it a little bit, but so it's not as visible, but I can still see it. So let's go grab the big gun and see what that well, does. I feel like an idiot. I forgot to turn the camera back on, so you guys just missed that whole shot. Basically, I switched to a, a buffer an actual high powered adjustable buffer instead of this little guy because this was kind of doing it but not really so if you have one of these great but otherwise I used a hard wheel now I'm on to the medium and I'm gonna do the medium now and you guys can't really see it but I was just saying to you guys even though you weren't here but anyways so I was literally just talking to myself I can still see the scratches when I get at the right angle and I really look at it, but otherwise I almost have it all the way out. Now, 
if I were to wet sand this, I would get these fully out, but I don't want to wet sand it. I don't have don't want to worry about it. I'm trying to do it on the easiest way to show you guys. But otherwise, they're there. And if it's me or you guys coming up to this truck and looking at it, you will find this scratch. But anybody else walking by it will probably not see this and they won't even notice it. And that's what I'm trying to go for is when I walk by the truck, I don't notice it. Before, after I ran into the tree, I kept walking by the truck. I'm like, dag nabbit, that scratch. I want to get rid of it. So let's do the medium wheel and try and buff it out a little bit more. Let's wipe it down. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they're pretty deep in there in the clear coat, but you know what? That is way better than it was. And I keep losing it actually. It's right here, but I keep losing it as I'm wiping. Holy moly. Okay. Yeah, I mean I'm 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 thrilled with that. That looks really good. And I almost got rid of it all the way down. So I'm, I'm gonna call that good now we're gonna move up to the front and that one's deeper that one might actually be all the way through the clear coat but like I said I'm trying to make it where it's not catchable by the visible eye to the trained eye yes Cat, nor, anybody else walking by it that's fine so let's go do the front and that one will be a quick so one like I said this one might actually be down to the paint itself all the way through the clear coat again this is just scuff marks this right here is going to be a pretty good scratch. So let's see if we can get rid of this one and make it less visible. So I'm not catching every time I walk by my truck and kind of cringe. So again, we're going to start with the hard pad and then go down to the medium. Just like if you're sanding something, you always start with the lower grit and work up to the higher numbers because this way it's going to smooth it out. Okay, let's turn this on. Then it, as I was saying on the other one when I didn't turn on the camera, I keep lubing this up because since this one is the harder pad, I don't want to burn through it or leave burn marks. So I'm going to lube this up again and then hit it again with the hard before switching to the medium. And kind of just smack it on there, get it all around so you're not flinging it too much because when it dries and you don't catch it, it's not fun. All right, now that we're done with this, just quickly wipe it down in between. Get it off your headlight. Any crevices, creases, corners. And again, I did spray this down and clean it right before I started doing this, just like I did the backside. And boy, oh boy, that's already, this is done pretty much. But I'll hit it with the medium just because. This one, again, this one went through the clear coat just like that back one so you'll still see it if you catch it which you'll catch the dent but otherwise this shouldn't be too bad maybe I'll get fender flares one day and it'll just hide it and hopefully stop it from ever denting again but let's go get the medium pad throw that on and get now, this done I used to have a soft pad but I think I killed it so I threw it out and I never replaced it so it would be nice if if you have a soft pad to do that one after you do the medium this way you go through all three, but I don't have a soft pad and it's looking good just with these two. So I'm going to leave it. All right, let's wipe it down. Take a look and holy moly. If this dent wasn't here, I wouldn't even catch this probably. Because right now it is just a dent, but it's it's like a dime sized dent, which is a problem because I can't pull it out. I don't want to have to do body work on it. I can't really get to it without removing the inner fender. So this dent is probably gonna stay here for till well I have this truck. <laughs> 
just going to be forever because I don't get rid of my vehicles unless they straight up die. I don't know if you guys can so. really see it or not, but that this is gone. This is pretty much gone. You can see the dent. I'm going to get rid of this one off camera and clean up all that. But otherwise, this one's not that bad. This, I'll show you guys in the light once I'm fully done, but man, it's pretty much gone. So let's get rid of this one and I'll show you guys off cam or in the sunlight what it looks like. All right, so let me just get rid of that. Can't see the buff scuff mark here, that's all gone. This scratch is pretty much gone, you can't really see it. You can see the dent, I don't know how well it's showing up on camera and you can probably see the indentation in the clear coat there, but I'm happy with it. Let's go over here. This one I did off camera. It's still a little dirty. You gotta clean it up. But like I said, I still gotta do a wash on the whole truck. But that's that scuff mark is gone. Same thing with up here. That one's gone. Then this one was the deepest one of them all. You can kind of see it still in the clear coat. Let me wipe off some of that dust. It did go dent into the clear coat, but I mean, to the untrained eye, I can't even see it here. It's gone here. There's this scratch, but that one's that one's deep. That one's deep. Here, it's 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 pretty much gone. I'm ooh, look at the flake. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Look at that, dang. I know I'm like freaking out over a paint job on a truck, but like I said, I like to keep my truck looking nice, clean kind of scratch and dent free the only place I feel dents and scratches should be on a truck oh man I forgot this one was in the truck this one I got from a gas pump when I was pumping up it like whatever it did it like hit it I was mad I, I'll get this one too just to get rid of it but otherwise the only place dents and scratches should be are in the bed so that's my theory it may be on the tailgate because I got a couple dents this one came with the truck and I put one right here. I was loading something in and boop, missed it by an inch. So, but otherwise, I'm happy with it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and hit the dislike button. But let me know why you didn't like it, what I could prove on. And as always, guys, if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.